Hi, Jeremy here, Modern Vitality. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This channel exists to explore the potential of healing from complex chronic inflammatory conditions, specifically when we use whole systems thinking, which you'll learn more about on this channel, along with natural methods and constantly having guidance towards medical independence, which means needing less interventions over time, not more. It's a very good thing. Most of the people that come into our world here tend to have symptoms that are kind of plaguing their life. And this may sound familiar to you. Some of the top ones, brain fog, exhaustion, fatigue, right? Chronic pains, inflammation, sometimes migraines, trouble sleeping, anxiety, depression, digestive issues, libido problems, hormone issues, pathogens. The list goes on and on and on. And a lot of times too, we can have diagnoses. There are certain disease conditions that tend to come with these symptom pictures. Not everybody that I work with has a disease diagnosis specifically. Some people have suspected diagnoses. Some people have more official ones. It doesn't really matter where you are on that spectrum of the journey, but some of these disease conditions that you might see are fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, Lyme disease. We now have long haulers, right? That's a relatively new one. Reactivated Epstein-Barr, Candida, mold sensitivity, adrenal fatigue, EMF sensitivity. There's so many. There's just so many. Okay, our modern world is creating conditions where these diseases are becoming more and more and more rampant. Lyme disease especially. It's like the, the range is starting to increase. Things that used to be very small and fringe types of conditions are now becoming more and more prevalent. And more and more people are suffering. So that's why I exist, right? That's why I'm doing my work here. Because what happens with these symptoms and these problems is not just that we feel the pain and we feel the symptoms, but then we have to start saying no to things that we used to love doing. We call this our shrinking world. That means every time you start saying no to things that you used to love doing. For example, oh, I can't travel now, right? Because I'm worried I'm gonna have a pain flare or something's gonna go wrong, so I try to stay close to home. No big trips, no vacations. In fact, my life radius starts to shrink so that I'm kinda of always near my bed or someplace where I feel safe just in case I feel like I need to crash. That's common. No more restaurants, right? Food sensitivities, the unpredictability there. No more, basically no more saying yes to plans and going out and doing things and being spontaneous. No more having fun. People who love to exercise and then they can't because they get post-exertional malaise, which means after you exercise, you're down with a crash for like three to five days. It's miserable. Okay, it's a, it's a hangover without any of the fun, right? That's what these inflammatory conditions feel like. You, you've got all the hangover, none of the fun the night before, right? It's, it's, a, it's a rough deal. So we have our shrinking world where we basically stop doing a lot of things and that's where life starts to get a little bit more sad, to be honest. I mean, most of the people that I meet and work with are going through some stage of grief where they're looking at parts of their life that they've kind of lost and given up. And, you know, it's not for lack of trying. Again, most of the people that come in here have tried a lot of things. Most of the people that come into my world here are very, very proactive. These are people who aren't going to just lay down and die. These are people who won't accept that a disease is going to take everything from them, right? So we try things. We try going to the doctor. We try going to alternative physicians, right? There's like functional medicine, naturopaths, Chinese medicine, right? I'm trained. I'm, I have a very strong background in Eastern medicine. I'm a clinical herbalist. I've got a lot of experience doing acupuncture and things like that. That's my background, right? But there's so much more beyond just any one profession. And we're going to get into that. We're going to be looking at some universal healing truths on this channel, which I hope that you'll find that and enjoy that. And it'll open up your eyes to some things that go above and beyond any kind of uh, healing paradigm, right? Because they all fall short somewhere. So you probably tried various things and they help you a little bit and they get you, you know, some progress, but it's not enough. And so you're still looking. And by nature, you wind up at a channel like this doing research, right? Trying to figure out what's going on because that's what happens. We try going to professionals and they can only get us so far. And then we decide we have to take things into our own hands. And then the danger comes because now we go to Dr. Google, right? And we type in our disease, our symptoms, whatever we're looking for. And we get back 10 billion results. Okay. And you take someone who already has kind of some brain fog or a little bit of just neurological inflammation as part of the clinical picture. And then you say, here you go, go learn how to become your own doctor with your billions of results on the search. It's incredibly overwhelming, right? Most people think, I just need more information, right? More information, more information, more information. However, in reality, when we get more information, we quickly, quickly learn that we don't need more information. We get overwhelmed with more information. What we need is the right information that's appropriate for us, that's in an order we can understand so that we can digest and learn what's relevant without having to become, uh, you know, 
doctor of the universe to understand everything, just to figure out what's relevant for you. And I aim to provide that on this channel. And more importantly, within our group where we have more specificity, which I'll talk a little bit about that later, because we have a group that's, I think, a very profound place where a lot of people like to be on their healing path. So when we have this, right, health professionals get us so far, we do some research, where else do we go? Forums, health forums, right? We spend a lot of time late nights on there. And the trouble with that is that we start asking questions. Hey, does anyone have a good supplement or what helps? What helps for my disease? What helps for my symptoms? And what do you get back there? Same thing, 100 comments back, 100 replies, all these different things, tons of stuff, supplements all over the place. Some things work for some people, some things won't work for you. Tough to tell, can you try them all? There's trial and error, right? And you're looking at things and what often happens is we do this kind of copy and it's a bit of a monkey see, monkey do thing where we go, okay, well, this worked for that person, so I'll try it and I hope it works for me. However, what we quickly discover is that we are not the same as that other person. And once we have stages and we understand the stages of healing, which is gonna be brand new for most of you watching this, I would, I would believe, once you have the stages of healing and you understand that, then you can know why certain things work for certain people. And depending on what stage you're in, you're going to have a better chance of X, Y, and Z type therapy helping you, right? It's, it's a lot of getting your odds better so that you know that you're at least in the right ballpark. That way you don't have to worry about trying to copy and get overwhelmed by a hundred different people answering you on a forum, you know, with their well-intentioned suggestions. Same thing with the doctors, right? I've got plenty of friends that are doctors, plenty of colleagues, lovely people huge hearts, right? Very well-intentioned. A lot of times trapped in a paradigm, right? Trapped in a worldview that doesn't allow for whole system healing. That's why we exist, right? That's why we're here. Because otherwise you're just looking at silver bullets, right? Hoping that one thing is going to solve your whole problem, right? And if that doesn't work, then we combine them and we just start throwing a bunch of stuff at it. And then we go, okay, this has now become the shotgun approach. And what that looks like is you're standing over a drawer of supplements and herbs and things that have, there's no thread, right? There's no rhyme or reason. There's no plan. There's no order. And you're standing over this drawer for 20 minutes a day, looking at it going, Oh, what's, what should I take today? What do I, how am I going to figure this out? What do I need? Right? You've got better things to do than be staring at your supplements. So I aim to try to make this process a lot easier for you. So you can start to learn yourself, learn your body, learn what you need so that you can get on with healing and get on with your life and stop having to become a medical researcher. Really, honestly, I think you have more important things to accomplish in this life. So we're going to get you out of the hole, right? Get you back to feeling like yourself so you can go on and live your life. I've been doing this in private practice since 2009, right? Since that time, I've noticed a lot of patterns. There are people who get better. There are people who don't, right? There are certain, they say success leaves clues, right? There are certain traits and commonalities and like I said, patterns that I've observed in terms of who gets better, who doesn't. And I explore this within some of the videos on our channel here because I want to set you up for success, right? One of the things that I've come to realize is that it's incredibly difficult to heal from a complex chronic inflammatory condition, let alone work towards medical independence over time, right? Let alone that without having a very sound strategic plan in place. You got to have a plan, right? You you can't just wing it. It's extremely difficult. What I've found through study, research, mentors, right? I'm constantly learning and I've been able to develop and refine a four stage model of healing. And what that means is we now have an order and I'll explain this in more and more videos. I'm going to just touch on it here, but the first step is immune system. Second is digestive. Third is neuroadrenal. Fourth is blood circulation, right? There is actually an order of operations where your body wants to heal and will respond. Most people think that healing means finding the right key for the lock, right? I've got this complex chronic inflammatory condition. Complex means there's a lot of variables, right? A lot of moving parts. It's a, by nature, it's a head scratcher condition, right? Doctors refer these things out. They're called mystery illnesses, knotty conditions, right? K-N-O-T-T-Y, like a knot, right? Tangled. By nature, there's complexity. There's a lot going on. And we think we can just find the right key. I just need to find the next piece of my puzzle and then I'll find the right key that unlocks my health, right? In reality, these complex conditions function more like a combination lock than a key lock. This is what most miss. This is what you must understand if you want to heal. You've got to treat your body with the respect it deserves as a complex system. So we have a combination lock, right? Which means you can be doing the right things, right? The right things, but not in the right order and you won't get the results. 
the safe won't open, right? You can know all the numbers in the combination, but if you put them in the wrong order, you're not gonna get anywhere. So we have our order, right? You wanna be looking at your immune system first, it's primary, then digestion, then neuroadrenal, then blood circulation. I know I'm touching on this. As you explore my world here, a lot of this is gonna to come to life and you're gonna have epiphany after epiphany in terms of understanding how to not get overwhelmed when you look at all the 10,000 things that may be good and helpful for you to heal and you can start to organize it into a strategic plan that makes sense so that you know where to start so that you're not getting overwhelmed. You can put one foot in front of the next, right? Because small steps, right, are attainable, are repeatable, we can do this. Even when things get difficult, you can take small steps in the right direction without getting overwhelmed. And over time, when you zoom out, those small steps add up to massive, massive change. So these are the patterns I've observed. The people who really get their lives back, I'm talking about even from rock bottom, bedridden, miserable, semi-suicidal, okay? These are serious things. I'm kind of light. I bring some levity and some playfulness around the channel and my work and all that. But it's not lost on me that these conditions can be life or death right? These can be extreme things. And we have to respect that. And people who can go from bedridden rock bottom to rock climbing, taking vacations, going around Europe on the cobblestone streets, no problem, right? Keeping up, being there for family, taking care of people, being able to go walk their dogs again, right? Strong dogs, big dogs. And you've got fibromyalgia or some kind of chronic inflammatory condition. And you think I can never walk the dogs again, right? They'll hurt me. And then you get your strength back and you can walk the dogs or you can go ride horses, right? All the things of getting your life back. The people who do that follow a plan. They have a plan. So I aim to, if nothing else, within this channel and within my world here, just you finding this, discovering this, you're going to start to see a structure. You're going to start to see a plan. This is the blueprint. This is the order of operations that your body's asking for. I'm happy to provide it. And if nothing else, you'll never not see it, right? You'll always have this in mind. So I'll tell you a little bit about the channel how we work here. This channel has been designed to fill in a lot of the blind spots and help you with the way you understand your body and what it's asking for and what it needs. I would encourage you to go through this channel and consume everything that you can, especially things that are relevant to you. You'll find playlists specifically set up for disease conditions. So if you know, for example, that you've been diagnosed with Lyme disease or fibromyalgia, or you know you have mycotoxins and mold illness or chronic fatigue syndrome, you can find the relevant playlist and you can cruise through it and get caught up. You'll also find Whole Systems Healing Playlist. I would encourage you to watch that whole thing because that's gonna apply no matter what the disease, no matter what the condition, there's a lot in there that's gonna help you with getting your life back. So try not to miss anything. I've put together a channel here that's very comprehensive, fills in a lot of the blind spots, and it's meant to give you a step-by-step -step foundation in terms of understanding your body and knowing how to even begin solving this problem, which I do believe you can do because I've seen it happen plenty. Now, my caveat here is this is not medical advice. I'm obviously not your doctor. We don't have a doctor patient relationship, right? I don't want any like weird boundaries there. Okay. This is a place for responsible adults to come and learn. That's what this is. I'm giving you information. I'm giving you perspectives in good faith. You know, I have to have a disclaimer like this, right? So just be responsible with the information I provide you. And of course, talk to your doctor if you have any questions, etc. But you're going to want to go through and you're going to want to binge through this channel as best you can, right? and you wanna get caught up, you wanna get a foundation, your next stage would be to join our group. We've got a chat group, right? It's a private group. We're off of the big tech platforms where we can have conversations that are unfiltered and you can ask me anything in there. It's a wonderful place to be. Most people, by the time they get to this channel, they're very excited about healing, right? And they also have realistic expectations. Meaning, okay, you know, are things going to be perfect? Jeremy, do you have a magic wand? Is your four stage model, is it a magic wand for me, right? Of course, it's not a magic wand, right? You want to have realistic ex expectations. And that's why I keep a group where the people I'm working with, my clients, which are international, we got people from all over the planet in there. They're lovely humans, very supportive, very positive. It's a high vibration place, right? Even for people that are sick and struggling, right? We are extremely high vibration. It's a lovely place to be. You've got people in there that you can come talk to. You can come meet. If you want to know what does this model look like in practice, join our group. Come see it, right? Come watch. Come see the daily wins that people are sharing as they work their way through the stages. Come see what happens when people have setbacks because this is reality, right? Healing is not always linear, you know? There are things that happen, triggers, setbacks, flare-ups. People have backslides. People have bad days. And you can watch. It can be right over my shoulder. 
where we navigate that and we say, okay, it looks like you got set back. You were at about stage three, you got set back to stage one. Here's what we do, navigate it, right? It's like shoots and ladders, snakes and ladders, right? And you can get back to where you were. I have a video about the abyss, which you can look at, which has more in-depth explanation about how we do this. But you can see it happen in real time with real people, real humans that are lovely. And you can talk to them and make friends. And like I said, you can ask me anything in there. I'll give you my perspective, right? My unfiltered perspective specific to your case and your question. We also have a vault full of videos that are interactive that are just for our group. It's off of YouTube, right? It's not on YouTube. It's just for the, the guests and members of our Modern Vitality Solutions and Support group. And within that vault of separate videos, there's a lot of interactive stuff where you can get really into what's your specific situation, what should you be doing next, where where can you point yourself so that you start to make progress. You know, it's it's one of these things where this may be an opportunity for you that you've been waiting for for a long time. And I would encourage you, even if you're shy, even if you're introverted, to become the kind of person who puts their hand up and says, hey, I think this is for me, I wanna check it out. Again, it's complimentary, it's free to join, there's no risk there. And you know, even if you are shy, you're in good company because a lot of the people in there are more introverted, empathic type folks. But I'll tell you, you get in the right environment and you might be surprised at just how lit up you get. Our group is small, I keep it cozy. One or 200 people max. I like to know who I'm talking to. So when you have a question, I can remember, yeah, this is, you know, based on what I know of you, here's something that may help. It's very personalized. However, what happens with that smaller group is that we tend to get a wait. So if I see your application, which you can find in the descriptions of the videos here, you can find the application link. If I see your application and you look like a great fit for our world and what we're doing, and I think you'd belong very well with us, I'll get you in the group as soon as I can, but just know it might be the next monthly cohort, right? We do monthly cohort batches. So it might be a month, it might be two months. I'll try to get you in as soon as I possibly can though. In the meantime, you might consider subscribing to this channel, right? Watching the videos, getting caught up as best you can. You don't have to watch every single thing, you know, you can try. I know it's hard sometimes with brain fog or you get overwhelmed, there's a lot going on. Sometimes people get to this, this channel, they see one video, they go, woof, I've never seen anything like this. I gotta be in this group, okay? That's fine, I won't penalize you for that. But I would encourage you that while you're waiting to get in, take some time and go through and study some of the resources that I already have available here for you. There's a reason why these videos exist, right? This is the stuff that I found to be most helpful, most impactful, most needle moving for people who are trying to get some leverage over their health. You'll also notice I don't use a lot of scripts or do fancy edits or anything like that. There's too much to cover. I don't have time, right? I'm busy. I've got enough going on. I've got an international practice where I'm helping people with complex chronic inflammatory conditions all over the world. Outside of that, I'm training other health professionals, right? I'm mentoring other practitioners so that they can start to use this kind of model and help more people. And then outside of that, I've got a big family. So I've got a lot going on. I don't have time to be editing these videos and, and getting lost there. So all the videos I make here, very straightforward, right? There's not a lot of chopping and cutting. And you know, that works for me because then I don't have to spend all day editing one of these videos, but it also works for you. And I'll tell you why. A lot of these videos have these edits, these cuts. And actually I'll put one in right now so you can see what I'm talking about. It's these kind of cuts, cut back, cut forward. You'll see it on YouTube a lot. It's like every five seconds they're changing something. They do that to try to keep you paying attention, right? To try to hook you more and more and more. I'm not gonna rely on that. I'm not gonna rely on gimmicks like that. I'm not interested in like mind control. I'm gonna have a strong message and the people who are meant to be hearing what I'm saying will stay. I'm not worried about keeping you because I zoomed in or out, right? So I'm not, I, I respect my audience <laughs> too much and I don't have time to do all that stuff anyhow, all right? It's important we're on the same page with that. The other thing about not having edits, it's gonna be more stream of consciousness, open mind, almost channeling type conversations, right? I'm just tapping into my, my brain, my mind, and my experience. So it's gonna be a very natural flow. Meaning, every now and then, you might hear me say, um, or uh, or I might repeat myself a little bit. Not the end of the world. I'm not gonna go through and edit all those out. Okay, fair enough. The other thing too is that we have, I've got French doors on the outside of my office here, and there's like a cafe, street side cobblestone cafe right out there. So you might hear the sounds of life every now and then, some background noise in a video. You might hear a little kid laughing, right? You might hear somebody talking. We'll live, we will manage. I'm not gonna go through and scrub everything because perfect is impossible. Realistic expectations beats perfection every time. That's a lesson that I'm taking to this video, these, the channel, right, all this stuff, but also we need to take that same lesson and apply it to our healing path. Perfect is unattainable, it's impossible. So many people get stuck trying to make everything perfect that they never get anything done. 
don't fall into that trap, right? So I'm going to model that. If you hear some noises or whatever, hey, I'm not perfect. I'm human. I'm a real human, right? I'll try not to swear too much, okay? But I'm a real human. The other piece to that is that the comments are off, you'll notice, on the channel. Why? Why are the comments off? Because I don't have time to moderate YouTube comments, right? I don't. I don't have time. There's been a lot of problems actually lately with YouTube getting spam bots in the comments. So I don't want anybody coming in trying to take advantage of people who are on this channel that are trying to heal, right? You're dealing with a complex chronic inflammatory condition. You're trying to get your health back. You're trying to get your life back. You don't need some weird spam bot coming in, impersonating me or whatever. The, the only interactions I'm having, right, are real interactions and they're happening in my group. They're not happening in the YouTube comments. So I turned that off. That's, that's not a problem, right? That's not an accident. I did that intentionally because I want to keep the channel clean. And for anyone who wants to have a deeper conversation and learn more and all that, you're invited. Come to the group. You can ask me literally, like I said, anything in there. The stuff we're doing is, is brand new, right? There's, I've not seen a group like this. this. This doesn't exist. It's been around. I invented it a few years ago. I created Modern Vitality Solutions and Support. I've never seen anything like it. It's international. It's a lovely place to be. If you're at all thinking about joining, come on in. Much of the information that we cover, you'll probably never have heard about, okay? Most physicians have never heard of this stuff. These are things that I've had to learn from very high-level mentors. I've synthesized a lot of it. I've developed it, and I've, I've fleshed this out through trial and error over years to get it to where it is now, and I'm always learning, and it's still growing, right? So there's another caveat. It's that things may evolve over time. I'm doing my best to train other practitioners, so you may see some more of this type of information out there in the, in the world at large, which I'm hoping we can collectively help more and more and more people because, man, we need it, right? These, these conditions are on the rise. It's a, it's a big deal. So in the meantime, enjoy the channel, right? Dive in, come on in here, learn, right? Build a foundation, build a healing foundation, start to see things from a different angle because a lot of the stuff that I'm gonna share with you within this channel and especially within my vault and my group, it, it's very counterintuitive. You have to learn how to invert problems and think differently. And that also includes whole systems and it includes looking at things from just whole different angles. And all of a sudden you can understand complexity in a new light. And when complexity becomes more simple and more straightforward, then you have a way to actually interact with it, right? Now, this way, my hope is that we can get you trained up so that you've got different ways to look at your problems and you get some real tools, some real actionable tools you can use to get your health back. So then you don't have to be doing medical research all the time, right? You can actually get back to your life, get back to having fun, get back to doing the things that you miss, because I think you've got more important things to do, right, with your life. Once we get back to neutral for you, it's time for you to go live and share your gifts and radiate yourself out into the world, right? Go be happy, go have fun. I hope this helps you. Let's get you feeling better. Cheers.